But anyways, the main point is that um, India, the country of India, banned apparently about 50-something apps, Chinese apps, um, as part of their ongoing conflict between the two countries. Um, and one of them being actually TikTok, which I didn't know these numbers, but TikTok has like a billion users now, approximately. Yeah. But 200 million of those who are in India. Yeah. So right like this, right overnight, with the government of India banning TikTok, TikTok lost a fifth of their daily users. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty amazing, but... The main, the main thing for me is, first of all, why did India they resorted to that? Um, they said it was a matter of national security stuff. And then we've also heard that in the U.S. we may follow through. So let's start with, with the fact that India banned TikTok. How is that going to affect uh, TikTok or the future of TikTok as far as? Uh, pretty severely, I think. Because uh, obviously India is the fastest growing uh, market for tech companies right now. Uh, it's it's India and China, but obviously TikTok is a Chinese company, so they want growth outside of China. They're already, it's called ByteDance in China, and it's already massive in China, so they're looking for international growth. Uh, and India is one of those places. So now India, with their billion plus people being totally locked off, is a big deal, obviously. But let me, let me ask you something, because I'm not very clear. I know you said TikTok is based originated in china but there's there's another app that is in china the american version of the world version of tiktok is not so much based in china because i know we have a ceo they have a ceo now that is the former uh, yeah so i mean tiktok so tiktok okay so there's a company called bite dance right that's the parent company right and that uh, one was chinese is chinese that is a chinese company based in china uh and it's the app in china is called bite dance but they wanted to expand globally. So a few years ago, they bought a company called Musical.ly, which mm-hmm. was basically, uh, uh, if you don't know what Musical.ly is, just look it up. It's like, a, it was like an app where you could sing along to songs and, and right. like uh, do voiceovers and stuff. And then basically they bought Musical.ly and then they added a lot to it. They obviously added a ton of features um, into basically what TikTok is today. And so TikTok is the, uh, global version of ByteDance in China, basically. Mm-hmm. And the headquarters for TikTok, I, I believe, are... Well, they have two, basically. They have the Chinese headquarters and they have the one in LA, I believe. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a Chinese company, though. Like, don't get it wrong. It right. is a Chinese company. It's almost like a Chinese company with a um, US or worldwide subsidiary or right lots of companies do this not right. i mean lots of companies basically will have one brand in one country another brand in another country but it's the same company same product it's just a different name basically in another country um so yeah I, now will tiktok be banned in the u.s i don't know i mean uh, is it a national security concern yeah yeah well, well this is the i was going to get to this because they according to the chinese officials they said that tiktok and others remain referring to the other apps that were banned and some of them I don't even recognize the names, but I guess they were bigger in India. But when the Indian government banned all those 50-plus apps overnight, I mean, they just banned right. them, gone. Um, they said that represented a threat to citizens' privacy and national security. And then they received complaints that the apps were stealing uh, and transmitting users' data, which obviously, yeah. uh, what else is new? We all know that. So, um but now we also know that the uh, the U.S. is thinking about the same thing. I'm not sure about how many apps, but definitely TikTok is on the radar. So um, we've had some issues with uh, uh, national security with Huawei before, and now it's TikTok. Also. Right. Last week, they did ban Huawei and um, uh, ZTE, which are two Chinese telecom companies, from being able to... Uh, build government infrastructure for 5G um, Mm -hmm. in the United States. Basically, the U.S. government had funding for different companies 
uh, to build 5G infrastructure in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And they said that Huawei and ZTE, they did deem them as official national security risks and said that they will not be building infrastructure in the United States. And to that end, the European Union is also, um, or different countries from the European Union are doing the same thing. They're basically saying that they yeah, they're Huawei changing to. their tune now because before they weren't. Like the UK was letting Huawei just mm -hmm. build whatever they wanted to, and it looks like they're changing that now. Right. Um, I think it's probably because if the US did it, maybe the other ones of the courage to do it now, I don't know. But I certainly would not invite Chinese companies to build out the communication infrastructure of my country, uh, especially going into the future as uh, not that China is necessarily an enemy, but I certainly wouldn't call them an ally. Well, it's, it's definitely not an ally, and it's, I would say more is an mm -hmm. economic type uh, and, uh, enemy I think it's more as, than economic. I think yeah. it's uh, it's a it's an economic, Ideology but it's, a, it's an ideological threat, basically. But uh, the main thing is obviously TikTok is is fairly popular. I don't know how many users do we have in the U.S. for <clears> TikTok. <throat> Uh, a lot. I don't know the exact number, but the usage of TikTok now in the United States, as far as time spent on the app, has surpassed Instagram this month. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I mean, I, I uh, as little as I know about TikTok, is very um, addictive. I mean, yes. you can you can just go there, and they serve obviously these little short videos. Um, they're like seconds, you know, with people doing most of the time goofy stuff, you know, but. You start scrolling and then, I mean, you can spend a lot of time and you are not disciplined as far as getting out of it, you know, just watching stuff. Even if you don't have an account, I mean, you can just basically, or you don't post anything, you can just basically watch other people's stuff. And then they, based on your um, selection or your uh, topics or whatever, they, they show you videos that are based on the people or the types of things that they think that you like. So it's definitely very addictive. I don't know how many users we have in the U.S. either. We can obviously look it up. But uh, I know they have a billion users worldwide, and they're growing very fast. Obviously, 200,000, 200 yeah, I mean, million. They're the, they're the are fastest app to ever hit a billion users, uh, ever. Like, not, it's not even close. I don't know if you've seen the chart that shows, like, time yeah, it took to get to so. a billion. Yeah, yeah. It was, like, literally, I think it took them less than a year to get a billion users. Yeah, so obviously, you now they lost 200 million uh, right away. And then uh, if um, in the U.S. we do the same thing, I mean, I, I just don't know how much... Uh, does does TikTok have advertising as well? Yeah, of course. They do. That's a revenue source, right? They they do have ads. And I haven't seen it, but I don't remember if I, if I focus on those or not. But babe, the bottom line is that the U.S. Secretary of State, uh, Mike Pompeo, said that uh, he um, he was seriously considering that. I don't know what the latest is. I haven't seen more. I, uh, yesterday they said it could happen by the end of the week. We're recording this on a Thursday, so who knows? By the time this goes up on Friday, it could have happened already. It's funny because he made a quote. And he says uh, he actually said, and this is the quote. Uh, you should only download TikTok on the quote is, if you want your private information in the hands of the Chinese Communist Party. <clears throat> I mean, he's basically making it very clear that your information will be shared. Yeah, the problem with TikTok is that, you know, because the argument is, well, every company takes your data, so who cares? That's what I've seen. Um, yeah, of course, it is true. Um, but there's two things. One, not every company is basically... Uh, part owned by the Chinese Communist Party. And two, um, TikTok was taking a lot of data, much more than most companies do. Uh, for example, they were found to have a key logger. So basically, if you have TikTok, TikTok downloaded on your phone, they are tracking everything you type, not just in the TikTok app, but on your phone in general. So if, you're t if you t send a text message to someone, they have a key logger, so they can see exactly what you said in your text message. And they're doing that, uh, so basically, things like that, way more intrusive than, you know, Facebook is very intrusive. Facebook doesn't key log your phone to see what everything, oh, and by the way, you know who else was caught doing that this week that is in a PR crisis? LinkedIn. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, on mobile only? Or